think I'm having Facebook issue here. I'm on Facebook, okay. I think I still restored. So, great dear friends and lovers of freedom, wherever you are, welcome you to this very broadcast today, being the fifth day in the month of August. The month of August is the eighth month of this year, 2024. As I welcome you, I will encourage you to welcome others as well by sharing this very broadcast to your own very world. Great dear friends and lovers of freedom from me from here is good afternoon. Depending your own time factor, I said to you good morning, good evening, and good night to so many of you. Um, what is trading that was initiated during the 2023 election is what is manifesting today in Nigeria. This is why we must not take any action for granted. You see, we the people of the Easterners are taking so many things for granted. And if we are not careful enough, we may use our own, may I call it, carelessness or ignorance to destroy ourselves. I think uh, after the election, that was when I was having the thought that the Easterners generally in Nigeria, especially our political figures, should have gathered themselves and begin to do the needful, begin to respond to the northerners and to the westerners according to their actions, according to their body language, according to their physical engagement concerning the people of the easterners. One thing I love about us, we the Biafras, we are people that are very, very, our hospitality to humanity is non comparison. Sometimes I do ask people to make their research. Our hospitality is non comparison to any other race or tribe in this surface of earth. But uh, that shouldn't uh, that shouldn't be taken for granted and that shouldn't be a case of weakness. There are sometimes as a man you take a necessary step and stop being in emotion and stop being in the spirit of being pity. You see, the seed planted in the hearts of the Northerners and the Westerners, especially the Westerners, by the Britain, is not an easy seed that you will uproot by enforcing yourself into them. It is hard time that our politicians should gather together. Those that are consigned, those that control masses in their little way or in their big way. This is why I said something I said yesterday where when I was at home yesterday, I did a very short video yesterday, uh, that was Sunday. You see, we should be very, very careful of our lives. This call is getting momentum. And if we made any mistake, it will bounce on us. 
This is why I have continued to say that respect is a reciprocal. I usher it to you, in return, you usher it to me. And this is what IPOB have been doing from the Genesis. I remember when Mazen Nandekano approached Ahanez and Debo, as they claimed to be. He approached them, and Ahanez bring their own demand on the table. Mazen Nandekano brought IPOB demand also on the table and tell them that um, what Ohaneze their slogan that time was restructuring for most of you who joined IBOB 2029 uh, 2019 then 2017 The slogans of Ohanes and Debo is restructuring, restructuring, restructuring. Then I remember eventually that I did a video. I said, when you are presenting some certain things to people, outline those things. Let us see. You see, we live in a world, we live in an advanced world where like now campaign is going on i have one campaign invitation which a candidate gave to me to invite a biafran group to their campaign grant then i answered him i said no we are people demanding for freedom of our nation so i wouldn't like such ground to be taking place now he asked me why and i told him you are still campaigning as a candidate of a political party as we stand we work with every government or every political party who are willing who are willing to present our lamentation before the international community so that's why we will not appear in your campaign ground i say you know freedom fighting is also a politics the white man looked at me and said, yes, you are correct. I said, I won't do that mistake. We will not do that mistake. We will not appear in any, but we will keep on up approaching every government, every administration of every government, every government of the world that is willing, that is willing to work with us and also present our matter before the international community. So let me go back for when Mazen and the Kano. Mazen and the Kano presented a particular demand. You know, sometimes you give people opportunity of let us give them reason for for not being, uh, let's say, for not being, uh, for no give, no give room for any doubt. That's what Mazen Nandekano did to Hanez and Debo 2017, which the president then was Nayamudo. Uh, John Nayamudo said that we that is they are working for restructuring and the restructuring some northern northern counterparts are also interested in restructuring for for the lasting solution of nigeria problem margin and the kind of say okay in this 
God. Look at what we want from the East. Do we have international airport? No. Do we have uh, seaport? No. Do we have this? Do we have that? No. Do we have embassies in the East except Israeli embassy? The answer is no. Because sometimes when you are dragging for something, you don't focus on your own right. You will also give a space for other people's right. That was exactly what Mazin Nadekano did to Hanes and Debo. Mazin Nadekano gave them opportunity to slot in their own chances so that they will not say they were forced. Mazin Nadekano says, okay, Take these things that which I give you. This is a, a, a common demand, which is right of every tribe or every region. Let me just let me say every region. Go and bring this thing. If you bring it, then I will drop Biafra. But I will not drop Biafra agitation until what I present to you is achieved by you. Then Martin and the Colonel left the meeting. And they said, okay, they will get back to him. You know, many people thought that it was only that meeting that Martin and the Colonel attended. No. They invited him again. He went to another meeting with them again. They said they are discussing heavily now. People are responding that the federal government are going to do something about the structure that they have seen that. That is actually will work. Master Nadi Khan is okay. Why you are holding the movement of restructuring? I, Master Nadi Khan, and the IPU will be holding strongly movement for Biafra self determination agitation. Should in case if yours does not work. So today, no, many, many of us, this is why I like the white. White people, before they will take you to a new road, they will first of all remind you of the old road. You know, most of, most of our people do forget this. What I'm saying now, most of, most of our people have forgotten it. This thing that I'm bringing back now to their memory, most of them have forgotten it. Most of them have forgotten it. This is the problem of a black man. It's okay. Go. Until you achieve it, then I will drop what I'm, what I'm holding. 2017, and then I would have promised before election of 2029, no, 2019, that the structuring will take place. 2018 finishes, 2000 and, uh, 2019 finishes, 2020 finishes, no restructuring, nothing, nothing to date. You know why I'm saying what I'm saying? For those of you who think that Nigeria will be better, those of you who have been deceived, those of you who have been manipulated, every time they will ask you to pray for Nigeria. Let me tell you something. You can't pray for a nation. Anybody that tells you to pray for a nation, that person, a lack knowledge, a lack wisdom, a lack understanding. Everything that made up a human being, that give quality to a human being, that person lacks such ingredient. He doesn't have it. And you should distance yourself from that person. That person is a foolish person. Nobody, when, when America say we pray for the nation of America, that's just a mere word. You don't pray for a nation, but you work for a nation. What the nation needs is to work, not to pray. I keep on saying this. Thing. Prayer is an individual benefit. Prayer is an individual, it's an taste of individual benefit. Because if you are now, let me tell you now, okay, let me for example now. 
you are somewhere now, you are praying for lion man. He said, lion man, ah, I am praying for you. I am praying for, maybe he noticed something about me. You say, I am praying for you. Where you are busy praying, do you know if myself, that you have noticed maybe something is wrong, maybe something is bothering me. Now you are concerned about me. Isn't it? You are concerned. Thank you. You are concerned about me. I appreciate you are concerned about me. But you have not engaged in prayer concerning my life. But as you are praying, you don't even know if me that you are concerned about, maybe if me that have that worried, you even want to go come out of that problem. You don't even know because to find solution over something is a choice. To, 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 to keep that problem ongoing is also a choice. Do you get what I mean now? You may be praying. That is what, that is what I want to analyze those that say pray for Nigeria, pray for Nigeria. Why your prayer is not working. That's why I'm going. I will analyze it today so that you will stop that foolishness. Why you are praying for Lion Man? Lion Man is busy somewhere. Maybe one woman is at my left side, one woman is at my uh, uh, right side. Maybe where you are praying for me, I am a top of woman, enjoying myself. Maybe where you are praying for me, I am killing somebody at that moment. I am busy shedding the blood of an innocent person at that moment. Do you think that, that your prayer will be effective to me? No. The only way that prayer will be effective to me, that prayer that you have initiated because you are worried, you appreciate your concern concerning me, where that prayer will be effective is when you say, let us pray for Lion Man and where I am, I say, oh Lord, I join this prayer with the spirit of humility, with the spirit of, you know, sober reflection. I say, oh, I think I need to change. Are you getting me now? That time I say, I think I need to change. I say, okay, I want to join this prayer with this person. As we are praying there, then... I will join in my prayer in that the same prayer then everything will be working accordingly because you know why i am willing now to make a change it's a willing issue willing to do the right thing is the healing we are talking about so when somebody tell you pray for nigeria for healing somebody you are saying pray for healing is targeting 10 billion naira to steal and traffic it abroad and you forget that taking away that 10 billion naira from that moment, one company is going down. For stealing that money, one company must go down. For stealing that money, education will, will depreciate. By stealing that money, uh, manufacturing in the country will depreciate. But if that money is there, if they not steal it, the money go to the channel where that money is supposed to go. The money will circulate within the society. The money will go to farmers. The money will go to industrialists. The money will go to manufacturers. The money will go to many angles. But the moment you pull that money, manufacturers will lack money to do their production. Farmers will lack money to do the agriculture, agriculture uh, activity. Many schools will lack money to engage in theory and practical. So everything will be affected for, for moving that money out. And you are somewhere saying, pray, pray, pray. And where you are saying, pray, pray, they are using just pen and paper, signing off what we better the land. And you are saying, pray. That's why nobody pray for a nation. What changes the nation is 
the masses of the nation holding their political elite accountable holding them accountable to account for that is why you see the white people you see politicians being in jail some of them in jail 20 years 10 years but when they come to nigeria there are no politicians who have been in jail even the one that he has said he has since are recovering as they recover it they share it among themselves now i want to ask you during the administration of Muhammad Buhari, all the money they recovered, ESF recovered, have Nigerian journalists, have Nigerian, at least, let me, let me say, the stakeholders of Nigeria, those that call themselves a statement or who, whatever name they name themselves, have they come up and say, how many billion have you recovered from Abbasanjo during the time of Abbasanjo administration? Where the hard money, where did well, what do we use that money to achieve? What do we use that money to achieve? Because in this country, I am this Brazil, the money they recovered from administration of uh, 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 Jima, that woman, they channel it to housing program, housing program, which majority of people they Poor people in this country are living in apartment today because of what they recover from some politicians. They channel, they say this money they are going to use to build houses for their own citizens. Those that apply for that houses by merit, they will get their house. There are our people, there are people from our side that benefited from that house. Go and ask them, especially people with up to four, three, five children. Most of them benefited from that house, two room parlor apartment. But Nigeria own, where did those money have been? Nobody is accounted for, nobody is asking questions. Now, this is why we say, and do you know why nobody is asking questions? Do you know where the problem is? The root of the problem. The root of the problem is division not being one people that is the genesis of the nigerian problem we are not one our mindset are not one we are not people with a common ideology what form a nation what you can describe as a nation is when you have common ideology like in this country brazil from their west to the south to the north to the east they have one single ideology. Irrespective of their different dialects, of there are people now that will come from some that are people from the north. If they are speaking Portuguese, if they are not deeply in Portuguese, their own particular Portuguese, you will not understand it. They will tell you say that we are speaking Brazilian. You tell them no, Brazilian uh, uh, language is Portuguese. They say they don't want to know. They will be speaking that thing. Even people from Sao Paulo find it difficult to understand them. But when it comes to their behavior, you find out that their behavior is similar. That is what they call one people. Your dialect may be different. That is why Martin Nandi can describe Biafra. Nobody will argue with you that he did not get it right. He got it right because he said, how many market day do you have? When people were dragging who is Biafra and who is not Biafra, he asked them, how many market day do you have? If you go to Akwaibum, Akwaibum have four market day. If you go to Bayasa, Bayasa have four market day. If you go to Delta, Delta have four, four market days. If you go anywhere you go from that territory, it's four market days. If you meet our mothers, our mothers tie two rappers. If you like, go to Abayabu, our mothers tie the same, the same style of rapper. That signifies one people. This is how to form a nation. Do you know why now England is about to enter into 
civil war because the Muslim from the Arabs have dominated England. Even they have hijacked even political space of England, which is the, the way it stands now. In the next 20 years, there will be problem there. That why the civil war in, 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 in UK is inevitable. Nobody, nobody can avoid it. It will happen. All, all eyes will see it. Experts themselves, the government have seen it. Most of people we are elected in the House of Commons recently in the UK. Most of them are, so, are children from immigrant children born in, the, in Britain, from Pakistan, from Bangladesh, from uh, Palestinian, from that is descendant. That you will not ask yourself, where is the indigenous of England? Do you see it now? They are beginning to diminish. They are beginning to vanish. And what is going to happen? These people that are descendants now will start problem. They will, because these particular people want to dominate the politics. This one wants to dominate before you know what happens. Crisis everywhere. Because they have lost their originality. This is why we say to end this crisis of discriminations and the killings and the by biting, you know, sorrow, bitter, bitterness of heart, let everybody go. Those people that match you as people that do similar thing with you, go and be with them. Those people that match you, that eat the same similar food with you, that have the same dressing with you, that have the same similar attitude with you, go and match with them. That is how to form a country. And uh, this past mistake that most of us have done in Nigeria, from the Eastern region, most of us have done by, you know, investing. When we are investing, we think that we are in our country. Because in your country, you have the free heart to invest anywhere you want, like these people here. People from the northern Brazil, they dominate this Sao Paulo. Most of BB companies here, they own them. Because they are not panicking, they are not saying, uh, what will happen to my investment tomorrow, because they are in their country. And one thing about them, when they come of age, they go, they go to their place. Their children continue to manage those companies. They always go back to their to their region. They are not panicking. This is exactly what the Igbos were taught that Nigeria will be. They thought that Nigeria will be a country for everybody. Which is I'm not, I don't blame anybody for that. I don't blame anybody for investing in the in Abuja, in the north, investing in the Kanu, investing in Lagos, investing in Ibadan, investing in Ekiti. I don't blame anybody. Building their house because this is how it's supposed to be. When you say this is this is a country, as far as we are from that country, any angle you come from, you have right to be, to go to anywhere you want in the inner corner of that country. And the fear at home because that is your country. But now that is in that manner, what we will be discussing is now is what is the way forward, what is the solution? Because as it is, are you going to die in error? Okay, let us call it error. Error have happened. We have made a mistake. Are you going to die in that mistake? Are you going to perish in that mistake? That is the worst thing a man, decision of a man. When you have made a mistake, you say, I want to die in that mistake. It's like a, a man that married a bad wife. 
because of your children you call your children is investment you have that is all what what men, men always look to die in a marriage you look at the children and say ah if i leave this marriage now what will be the condition of my children and before you know what happened the man will die in that marriage then that children will still he will still leave those children behind then why can that man is it that marriage why staying separately or finding another new life also take care of those children that's why i said we need to be thinking fast in this life think fast. everything is not by muscle it's by wisdom i had a friend in 2007 very long time ago the guy died because of bad woman and when all of us were telling him oh boy you see how this thing is going on is it this marriage go go and marry another wife live your life thank god that god bless you live your life then take care of your children allow the woman to go and marry another another man of her choice then take care of your children just map out make arrangement how much how you are going to be taking care of your children if the woman willing to release those children for you carry your children and live with another woman happily he said my children my children my children my children my children my children he continued enduring enduring that that the same woman killed him he died he lost his eye life. all his family was mad because every, everybody know what was going on it's the same thing with a woman when the woman married bad man because when a woman married a bad man he will say my children my children my children my children she lost her life in the marriage she will not leave those children behind then that bad man will not go and bring another wife. So why can't her leave that marriage and stay distance and take care of the children? So that when the children grow, she may be in advantage of those children taking, bringing her back to, the, to, to themselves because that is how it will, it, will, it will happen. So why I'm saying what I'm saying now is the evil business men and women don't let us die in our past mistake of one nigeria it is it is it, for we to think that say because of our investment let us keep on managing because this thing that is going on we have reached many people imagine where a man is saying you want to manage something that is killing people. So people are dying. Do you know that as you're managing it now? Okay. The, there's one club. There's one club owned by Ibo man in Kaduna. In, sorry, in Kanu. What happened today? What happened today? As they are passing. They have remembered the, the, the protesters from the northern Nigeria. Have remembered that club. They went there and pushed the gate down, tear the gate, begin to stone the louvers, break the glasses. Before, I think somebody, I don't know how somebody came there to control them and tell them no. They were speaking out, sir, telling them to leave the place, to leave. No, 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 don't leave the, some of them. But already they have already broken those things. Because do you know why they did it? They did it because it is Ibo man that own it. No, let me tell you, something. no, a bona fide blood of or origin of a place love to destroy what is in their land. That's why I said, whenever you see. A child you born destroying your own property. One they go and do DNA test. 
Forget that uh, he resembles me. No. Medically, it does not prove that if somebody resembles you, you are the biological father. No. He may resemble you because you are there where the woman was shaping the, the, the child. The, the child carry your face. It happens. But whenever you see a child destroying things in your house, one day, pick that child, go and do DNA test to confirm if this thing is because nobody destroys his father's things. Nobody destroys. Let me tell you the fact. Nobody. De most of things, most of families today, you see, they say this child is a is a problem child. Go and call that woman very well. The woman may be hiding something. You may be hiding something because women as la and the bany is la law one yeah ma on ye wen wan. So so wan you bony mon yem on ye wen wan. Woka man woman be on so so wan ye bony ga we now go on wen wan. Is a nature. We will not die in a mistake. We all of us have made a mistake. Everybody know me. I had a project I abandoned in Lagos since Martin and the started preaching about Biafra. I was among the people who insulted our beloved father, our late beloved father, Ojuku, when he came to trade fear. Last, when he said he he I was among the people who insulted him in trade fear. Because we carry one Nigeria for head. But as things continue to unfold, you don't need anybody to translate this thing for you. They were doing it politically before, hiding it under politics. But these days they have come out, even they cannot, because of Imanase, when you have voice of the truth. When voice of truth comes out, many secrets will be revealing. That is why even Bible said it. They say it's only truth can save you, not not prayer. He said, say the truth that truth may save you. Now, if you are sick, what would the medical uh, 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 pro uh, professionals do? First thing. They will take you to lab to diagnose you to know the particular thing that is troubling your body system. You cannot just say, I am sick now. You will just enter hospital and sit down. Uh, medical professional will just go there and bring paracetamol and inject you. No! It's not like that. First of all, they will take you to lab and run blood tests run every necessary test to find out the real trouble in your body system. When they discover it, what is that discovery? That discovery is called what? Truth. That means truth to have been revealed. From that truth to available, they will now work on that truth. That, that truth is what we call reality. Not fiction. Not miracle. It's what, it's not prayer. That is called reality. Even Bible will tell you Bible, we the Christian that claim Christianity. Bible even describe it for us. He said, I never say where Bible say, pray that you shall save. No, he said, pray all time without season. He stopped. He did not say prayer will save you. Now he not say, say the truth that truth may save you, set you free. He said, only truth shall set you free. Why did the Bible say pray always? When you pray. God will give you grace of revelation. And when that revelation comes, what is that revelation? The root of that problem will be revealed. And when that problem is revealed, you now begin to mention that problem in your prayers. The solution will come. What is that revelation that comes that time? Truth. That means truth has been revealed. That's what the Bible means. Truth has been revealed. Truth is available on the table. 
Now you now know, oh, this is what I've been suffering for. You now back it up. If it is a spiritual something, you now pray. Prayer do answer. God exists. God answer prayers. And according, if you are willing, if you are willing, now look at the speech made by Bola Medi Tinubu about the protesters yesterday. The speech was so embarrassed. Whoever that wrote that speech and hand over to that man is one of the wickedest person on earth that does not want this man progress. Whoever that present that wrote that speech and give to the man, because I know that Bola Medi Tinubu cannot write speech. He's an illiterate. He didn't go to school. But whoever that did that thing to this man, if it is an evil man, Bola made the Tunubu should pursue that man and make sure that man go into grave. He's, a, he's his worst enemy. If it is a European man like him that, that wrote that speech and hand over to him, that person does not deserve to live. That is the what we call enemy within. That is what you call enemy within. Enemy that want no progress of you. I, I listened to that speech. I, I was baffled where I am. I say, so Nigeria have come to this that even the leaders, who, those that call themselves leaders does not have what is called conscience. They don't even have what they call reflection. They don't even have what have called concern. I said, this is why, where the evil politicians want us to be. Where the leaders have lacked what is called conscience. They, are, they, don't, they don't go down. Look at Apabio. Uh, Apabio said, those who want to protest should go and protest where they will keep on eating. If you say that word in abroad, oh Lord, if Apabio, if, uh, what do you call it, Senate President, Apabio, utter that word in a developed world by now he will be in underground prison because police is independent they will pick him up even the house will impeach him they will say okay you are one of the enemy of this land we did it and that will end his political everything he had everything he have gained in the political corridor they will strip it off him nothing will remain go and ask anybody if Akpabio, uh, what do you call it, Akpabio, if Senator Akpabio happened to be in abroad in a developed world, by now he's empty. They will take his houses, they will take all the cars, they will empty his account, they will, they will strip him every, and they will jail him. Because he's only the enemy of a nation can utter that kind of word. But he utter it, nothing happened. Do you know what he's telling you? Do you know what that word means? You can go to hell, you can't do anything. That's what he's telling the whole Nigerian citizen. He's telling all of them. From the north to, from the west to, from the east to, he's telling, every, he's telling all of them, you are vagabonds. You cannot do anything. That's what he's telling all of you. He's telling it to professors, he's telling it to teachers, he's telling it to pastors, he's telling it to imams, he's telling it to every race in Nigeria. He's telling you, you are nobody. That's what I buy the uh, Apabio. That was exactly what Apabio was telling Nigerians. Those who want to protest can keep on protesting while we keep on eating. So they know so you know that they are eating. They are not working, so they are eating. And these are the people who swear oh that they are coming to work for you. Now that you have known that now because what you refuse there, probably. He play politics there. Maybe you know that this politician they are very cunning. Maybe what Akbabio review there is to tell you that we are not here to work or we are here to eat. Because I I I I, I suggested I, I analyze that word in two angles. Either he is throwing in shot to the Nigerians, those that call themselves Nigerian, or he is Telling the Nigerians, stand up and fight. We are not here to work. We are eating. That is the two directions. So, 
what if there is still journalist in Nigeria? What they could have asked him, Senator Akwabio, what exactly do you mean? So that he will explain. Because he cannot execute a man without hearing from him. I might utter one single word that means two things or even three things. It happens. So it is my definition of analyzing, or when you ask me a question, I will not choose the rightful angle which I use that word for. So I think this is when the journalists need to step into action and call Apabio and ask him, what exactly do you mean? So that he will give you the final definition of his own meaning of that go and do what you want to do where we keep on eating because i see that in as he have informants he have betrayed the system the administration by telling them that nobody is here to work everybody is here to eat that may be the one one angle or that is the what they send him to come and insult you. Maybe they have you have concluded and say these people they are nobody. Go there and tell them to go to hell. Because the word means either he is trying to tell you truth about what they are there for. They are there to eat, not to work, for the nation to be better. Or other angle, go to hell. That what those two words mean. So it is left for him. To classify it and give the de final definition of what he meant by saying go and do whatever you want to do while we keep on eating and nobody have asked him do you know why nobody have asked him because people are divided they have used religion to divide them they have used tribal weapon to divide them do you see? Do you see why this set of politicians want Nigeria to be one? Because they know that they can, Nigeria cannot move an inch. It cannot progress. Rather, it will be revising back per hour. And uh, it is an opportunity for them. Because where there is no unity, you cannot hold anybody accountable. The Russia flag that has been flying in the north, if the politician does not know, understand the game, what is going on, do you know that you cannot flag any flag if there is no politician, solid politician behind it? Who taught the Northerners how to flag? How to flag? And do forget, don't forget, <clears throat> don't forget that Niger is with Russia. The neighboring their neighbor is with russia so something is fishing something is fishing and that is why i keep on telling i will keep on aiming my voice i will not stop i will keep on aiming my voice to tell the our women and men serving in nigeria any part any uniform be it military be it police be it custom be it to be in a high alert. Even I will tell them to quit from Nigeria paramilitary service. For now, let them quit and come home. Because I think that they have systematically trapped them there. Look at all the police following protesters in the north. No one with single gun. They have collected gun from them. Do you know those people? Those people are the Easterners and the, some few Westerners. They have, you see how they do it. Because all of you have forgotten that there is an agreement written by Tunubu, by the Northern Elders, concerning the division of activities in his administration. Have all of you forgotten? There are many people, there are so many people in our place. <clears throat> all what they focus is. Business, business, business. After business, the next thing they will focus is like a weak Christian. Church, church, church. I keep on telling people. 
if you don't put your eye on government, when the government is not well, remember that the society is not well. <clears throat> when the society is not well, remember that the church is not well as well. Remember that their business is also not well, it's sick. These are the things that people don't understand. They are flagging down my... Facebook is flagging down my brokers. I don't know why. These people want to get me provoked. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I wanted to give a very deep analysis, but Facebook continue flagging me down. They keep on 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 flagging me down. So, as I was saying before, the Facebook problem. So, you forgot that these people, they are with Niger, are their neighbor, and the Russia are there. Russia are there. What you see now, they want to do is to military to take over. And they do not forget that agreement. Have anybody? You see what? When I say that journalism is dead in Nigeria, and when journalism is dead, the country is dead. Because it is journalism institution that force politicians to tell the truth to the public they are governing over. When the politician cannot tell you the truth, then what, is, what else do you think you can do? Have any journalists asked Bola made it to What was the agreement you reached with Shetima over your administration? Because when Jonathan was vice to Yaradua, when Jonathan was a vice to Yaradua, there are activities signed to Jonathan. Go and ask Jonathan. But I remember vividly in this. Uh, Tinubu's had uh, during the time of campaign. Tinubu signed a document with the Northern Elders that Shetima will be the one in charge of security. Have all of you forgotten? Have all of you forgotten that Shetima is the one in charge of security? <clears throat> then I ask, why will a man who called himself a man to come and be president we? Admit such thing. Whoever that is in charge of security is in charge of the country. Are you getting me now? Whoever in charge of security is in charge of the country. Do you see why Nigeria security system collapsed? Because Boko Haram now are the one in charge of security. Forget about he used a Yoruba man. Go and ask that man who is chief of army staff. If he's educated, though, because most of them, it, it seems like most of these people are illiterate. If he is educated. Yeah, Mazi, that is what they are doing to us now. That is what they are doing to us. Uh, Mazi, Madabuchi, and uh, myself, this is the terrible things we are facing. Facebook is flagging us down seriously. They are flagging us down seriously. I don't know I don't know what they discover from our page so whoever that is in charge of security is in charge of the country so for all you that doesn't maybe you are wondering what is going on in Nigeria <coughs> who is in charge of security is Shetima Tunubi is in charge of economy Iyanadua during the time of Jonathan, Jonathan was in charge of economy. Yeradua was in charge of security as a president. But when it comes to Emilopo, because he was 
manipulated and put there. They have no choice before the thing is sign a document with them. This one will be in charge of security. Go and ask, go and go and google it. Go and verify it. Except they hide it from the Google. Go and give this video to some to people that know what is going on, and they will say this man is well informed in Nigeria system. It is Shetima. That is why I told you about police. What are you doing in a country where Boko Haram is in charge of security? Do you see how they collected arms from those our people in the north? Why the people they deployed in the east they arm them to the teeth? Why do you think they arm them to the teeth to come and cause destruction in the east? Do you see why we told people be people be stop this year greed? Many people will say people be the one Nigeria is. Let me tell you something. I I beginning I have beginning to see people be as worst as one of the greediest person on earth. This man want to because of his ambition, selfish ambition, his own ambition, not because nobody will go there and make Nigeria better. Nobody will repair Nigeria. No human being on earth will fish Nigeria. I keep on saying, I have been sending this thing now since over 10 years. We are 2024. Since 2017 till now, I will not head into 10 years. Since getting to 10 years, and I have been shouting on top of my voice, nobody will fish Nigeria. I know I know deeper things about Nigeria. Without that, that that said nobody will fish Nigeria. Nobody can fish Nigeria. Nigeria have too many holes. If you close this one, this one is open. If you close this one, this one, maybe probably before you start when you are closing, before you come back. Again, you find out that these people you have opened that hole again. So the best way, the way forward is dismantle the Nigeria, dismantle it, and if you want to dismantle it, dismantle it in a way that will qualify you as a human being, not to dismantle it in the way of animal. Because where Nigeria is heading now, Nigeria wants to dismantle in the way of animals. Because why I say dismantle it in the way of human human being? The way of human being is to make it peaceful. Come to the table. Uh, let us call the masses. Every senator representing your constituency, every House of Red members, all the governors go and prepare for referendum. Period. You will see the Europeans, all of, everybody will bow. They will say, of course, they will, they will try to sponsor one of the greedy politicians. No, stop, stop them, stop them. Imagine when somebody is telling you, don't go this angle. And in, in their own place, they are going at the same angle. You see, this is what I look at frequently, as I said. Is it because of what they are initiating them in abroad? Because most of them, before they give them power in Africa, either they put them in free mercy, or they put them in Illuminati, or they put them in what they call it, this uh, 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 this uh, court in in France. I forgot the name. They put them there. These are the three major courts. They always put them. And I have told them this thing concerning about courtism. Courtism is all about mind control. Courtism is like religion. Mind control. What you have, what they have planted in your mind. It begins to trouble you. It begin to trouble you. It begin to trouble you. It begin to trouble you. Do you understand me? Mind control. The worst thing any man can do to himself is to allow his fellow man 
to plant a seed of mind control in him. This is why nobody, uh, people, people will confirm me, nobody, he can't control me. He can't control me. I have read Bible from the Genesis to the Revelation, from Genesis to the Revelation, probably not one, not two, not three. Let me tell you something. When I read Bible, read Bible, read Bible, I found out, yes, this thing they call mind control is real. But it's any time you discover that what this thing now that is presented before you is my control, you are free. Whatever I read, 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 read. That's why you see many pastors today, they love alcohol more than you. But they will hide and drink it. A, 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 a pastor in this country, a Brazilian, not a Brazilian, not a Nigeria. He told me why. He said, Lion man, he called me amigo. He said, he's a pastor of a church here. We are the same working place. He said, you don't hide your drink. But I know you are a very good Christian. You pray, you have a gift. I said, yes. He said, it's, it's, it's strange. I said, it's strange? I said, why should I hide my drink for you? I said, instead of me hiding it for you, I hide it for God. And I cannot, since I cannot hide it for God, which means I cannot hide it for you, I cannot, I don't care. I begin to tell him, I said, he said, no, not this, he can drink it. Uh, uh, in the house, like other people, he said. He even confirmed. He said other people. I look at him. I say, "Tell me the truth." I told the guy. I said, "Tell me the truth. Do you drink?" He said, "Yes." <laughs> That's why I say. You see this word. Don't let anybody. Don't let anybody corner you. You see that thing that. Like me, I don't I don't drink always, and I don't drink anyhow drink. I don't drink always. Maybe once in a while, I put drink in the cup. I drink. If I buy one bottle of whiskey, feel if he day here one month, if I remember to drink it, maybe once in a while, I just put it. I just drink. I'm okay. When I ask him that question, I don't throw that question. I don't look at his eyes. I say, now, I say, now, don't lie to me. Don't I say, do you drink? He said, yes. But with respect, he drink it inside his house. I say, have you ever in one day tell anybody in your congregation from the altar that drink is bad? He say, because according to the teaching of the Christian, you have to tell people. I said, but why do you do that? I said, this is why, I told him, I said, this is why the anger of God is on this earth. He looked at me, I said, this is exactly why the anger of God is on this earth. I said, do you know what is your problem now? You are being controlled by mind. They are controlling you. He said, what? I said, because they are controlling you because of a false, false teaching. As all these things are false teaching. Even you, I said that time you want to mention and tell other people when you are in the altar with the with the spirit of God, you know, because this thing they say spirit if spirit doesn't descend, spirit spirit of God exists, he descends, it is not permanent. He go, he come. At that time you are talking to people about drink, condemning drink. How do you feel? Don't you feel condemned in you? Since you are you are drinking it, but in your house, don't you feel condemned? Don't you feel condemned? He look at me, and say, "Well, I say, do you know why I do what I do open? Do you know why? I do? So that I will have my respect." I do what I do open because I want to have respect before man and before God. 
I said, do you know why God loves me? Because I don't hide anything to his creature. I said, those people you are hiding it for, which means you are offending God because God created them. God is their maker. He looked at me and said, I've preached for you today and I end this story here. Go and think about it and know if you want to continue in your deception, you can continue. And this is exactly what is playing out. That is why sometimes you find out, I was telling somebody, I said, have you noticed, that is why you find out those we call, those people we call people in the world, because they are living their life very free, without hiding anything. I said, do you notice how God always bless them? But you, who is manipulating and pretending, do you see how hard you pray and 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 pray? At the end of the day, you get frustrated. Sometimes that thing will not even come through. But if we see those people we call unbeliever, because they are living their life open, they will carry beer, they will they will move around the street, they will drink their beer. Everybody will see them, they are drinking the beer. They will carry their cigarettes, they will put it light, they will be smoking, they will moving around. Everybody will see them, they are smoking. They will go to club, then dance, then dance, then dance. Everybody will see them that this person is clubbing. He hide nothing, he deceive nobody. So whenever he need help from God, he tell God that the answer the God answer him. Because he's a person, is a soul of truth. Pure, undiluted truth. That is who that person is. Not pretending. So what am I saying? Solution comes when there is truth on the table. So, all these our Igbo politicians, what is keeping them in Nigeria? Sometimes, <clears throat> I begin to wonder. I say, how can somebody see the, the father's wealth? This is father's inheritance, his father's inheritance, with his other siblings. This particular person prefer a outsider to come and inherit their father's inheritance. He now go and invites criminals from outside and say, my father drops us so money and this money can better the life of me and my other siblings. Come and steal the money from my father's house. Come and rob the house. Take the money away. I am describing the character of evil politicians now. <laughs> yes, that is exactly the character of them. They now, they now prefer to go and invite criminals from outside and say, come and rob our father's inheritance. Rob, rob that money away from our house. Then I will come and meet you somewhere. You give me my own share. This is how I begin to see evil politicians. Because by this time, by this time of Nigeria, of what have happened at the past and what is happening now we don't supposed to be reminding the politicians of working us outside or suspending themselves from attending any kind of other senate meeting or house of representative uh, functioning they're supposed to work out by themselves then those people that are their colleague will not be calling them what is happening. They say, no, they are not interested anymore. And that will bring Nigeria to standstill of, oh, let us come. Something have been not, oh, yeah, let us discuss. And as they are coming back to discuss, the discussion will be only basically on, let us initiate referendum. Nothing more, nothing else. Thank God, IPOB have come out, press release today have come out to make it open. 
so that they will not say that we don't know that uh, what the people are agitating for is referendum. But the referendum have been what we are referring to. We, IPOB have been saying it time with that number. Because most of the people that champion IPO believe in a standard world. We don't want for we don't want to force anybody into being a Biafra or into being a Nigeria. Give everybody opportunity of doubt. Create that what is happening. Create that opportunity there for people to exercise their mind, exercise their choice. Let that choice be there. So that it won't be tomorrow. Somebody say, oh, I was in Nigeria. I pop, come and drag me into Biafra. Today, look at what is happening in Biafra. No, we don't want it that way. We want people so that you know, when you choose something, you make that thing work. When you choose something, you make that thing work. But when you are forcefully giving something, you may not make that thing work because that, is, that wasn't your choice. It's like now, two people that come together, this one says, I love you, this one says, I love you. Two, a, a man and woman that come together. That's why sometimes you see that a woman that, that used juju to marry a man, you see that that marriage does not last. It can't last. Go and watch it. Maybe elderly people will tell you. Or a man who used a uh, charm to marry a woman. That woman, that marriage can be not, it will collapse at last, last. That's why I tell you, reality is the righteousness of God. Truth. The truth is reality. Reality is truth. And that is the righteousness of God. You can lie and lie and lie and lie and get something done. You know, let me let me describe lying, 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 what lies means. You see lie. Lie is like when you when you supposed to be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll be counting to hundred. Then because you 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 want to lie, you now count. One, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, two. You've been jumping. Do you understand me? As a rider team, time will come. You have counted one, you didn't count your country. Time will come. They tell you, ah, this two is lacking here. Why why there is no two here? They will bring that two put there. When they bring, bring that two, put there. Remember that you have jumped that two and go to four. That last, last, you must come back to that two. That's why lying is very shameful. Because you last, last, it's like that speed, that speed you have wrong, 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 reach 50, you will come back. At the end of the day, what will happen? The person that take it gently, gently and count it accordingly, you will not revise back. That person will be in your front. That is exactly what is happening to Nigeria. They are trying to make Nigeria work by all means that, you know, for their own benefit. But as they are trying to manipulate, to, okay, okay, let us do it that. Why they left what Ojuku and the Gowan sign? What they say is where the that is where the solution is. Everybody must go on their own. Do you understand me? You see that thing which they have abandoned all these years. At the end of the day, they are dumbling and they are rotating, rotating. They are no, they go nowhere because that is where the vehicle that we move everybody is. The vehicle are still there. But the vehicle is still parked there. You see, referendum is the vehicle of every destination of everybody in that Nigeria. Referendum is the vehicle. And that vehicle is parking there. Didn't you know the rotio? You see that vehicle? The, the engine of that vehicle can never be rotten. Rather, you who refuse to enter that vehicle, we got rotten 
and suffer and die. That vehicle will still park there. If referendum does not happen in our own time, maybe we grow old and die. One day, it will happen one day. It will not happen on our daughter's, my daughter's era. Maybe my daughter grow old and die. This is how you will be dying, suffering and dying, suffering. Time will come, don't forget, time will come, you will eat human being in Nigeria as a food. Time will come, you will eat human being in Nigeria as a food. Do you see person that call on that day, Matichina Samoru was interviewed on BTV? Do you see the person that call? These are the Funanese living in our land that speak Igbo. And these are the people who is committing abomination in our look at what human being is saying. Because of the 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 the, the, the campaign of uh, agriculture, he know they there. But what he wants to do is what the blood of the Funanese inside him. Is that this is autopilot? This is what they are doing in our land. They are often an is. This what look at what he's saying. Can they start eating human being? But what Master Chinas have but Master Chinas have was shocked. He said, Gee, is Master Chinas was sad? She made him away. Are you just playing or you are just is in that interview? Then how will he kill you? I'm mad. I'm going to go. And we kill the man. But what did they supposed to ask him? Nko nye ke igeri. Nka juo ya ko nyo churi rinki. Ko nyo churi rinki ane ya. Ko nke nne ya ko nke nne ya. Ko churi rinki. I wanted to call. Because of that guy. Because of that call. I said no. Because the anger in me. I said, if I if I air this anger on radio Biafra, it will not be good. On B BTV, it will not be good. Actually, I mentioned that guy go out there, go out there, kill him. Because this is what they have done. This is what what have been doing. That this is what they are doing now. Umu funan, lalibo. You see, both pastors who are keeping quiet because they want one Nigeria so that uh, hardship will be even hardship is what makes the churches in Nigeria to be booming. No hardship, church will be empty. So, the, why the churches is keeping quiet? They don't want to go to the head of the everlasting solution for everybody. They know that what IPOB is agitating. Is the real solution they know? Do you know why they why they are not much interested about that? Because themselves are benefiting from the rotting system. They are evil. They are evil. Those the apostles you see is more slave masters than the, during the white during the white time. Any man, let me tell you something. Any man that allow his fellow man to kneel down before him. Is worse than is worse than the Satan. Do you understand me? That man is worse than the Satan. Is a is a slave demon. That's what I, I describe. Any man that stand and allow his fellow man to kneel down, and you know that this one is his fellow man. This man is well do man, and the man go on his knee and kneel down before him. A tap a tap him on the head. That man is a slave demon. He don't dare. Go and ask my brother's children if you try them. Where are they? Oh, uncle, hey, welcome, stand up, stand up, stand up. And they have no me work for that, and they stop it. I said, Don't try this nonsense again. Children, no, this one is children, no. This one is children, but some people say it's a, rest, it's a sign of respect. Children can walk, walk. A human being like you, kneel down 
and you allow that person to kneel down. Forget the person, made, but you are the person to correct that error. When I look at Nigeria, our pastors in Nigeria say this ones, they are slave demons. And if you see them, when that happens, you see them hang their That's why they don't take correction. Master of no, they know all, they know everything. I was watching uh, Suleiman the other day. He was vomiting nonsense from his mouth. He's attacking uh, a bird. I said, look at what pride is doing. Instead of this man to take correction, pride will not allow him. He's, he's proud. Pride cannot allow them to submit and take solution and take correction and this is exactly what is destroying nigeria government everybody is come and see billionaires in come and see billionaires in america come and see them come and see billionaires who is done come and see more billionaires if you see them very simple they come to you, you they, they bring hand, you shake their hand, you, you press your hand, you press him back. You Africa, when you get two billion dollars, Madagani. When you get five million dollars, Madagani. Unale provoke who provoke who to. That's why sometimes I may say, sometimes I, I will say, I say, is it not the reason why God have kept Africa down? Because if Africa be in the position of Europeans, they, they may, they, I don't think anybody will pass, anybody will cross, anybody will pass them by. I don't think anybody will pass the road then pass. Maybe if he part, they will say, bring him, kill him. But, comrade concern, the solution is referendum. That vehicle of referendum is still back there, waiting for people to come and enter. If you no enter, the vehicle will be back there. You go suffer, you go suffer, you go die. You go suffer, you go suffer. You see, this life does not require suffering. Go and ask your brothers, our sisters, our uncles that is in abroad. Do you think that abroad, if you come to abroad, you begin to pick money on the ground? No. You walk the same way people walk in Nigeria to make money. You hustle the same way people hustle. But then have you asked yourself, upon all that, why are you suffering? Because of bad government. No demon is pursuing you. Nothing, nothing is bad government. That's why you are not progressing in your business. That's why you are not being paid salary due to you to be to pay as a human, to receive as a human being at a place that have resources. You can't have it because everybody is beating around the bush. Everybody is beating and beating around that bush is now only on the benefit of the Westerners. There are many countries you will go, you will not see embassy of those countries, but there is no embassy that is not available in Nigeria. Have you noticed it? There is even the smallest country has embassy in Nigeria. Because others have told them the rat in the house have told them, have told the rats in the bush, come home, there is fish. Even when you will see one dirty country in 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 in, 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 in Eastern Bloc Europe, they have even look, look at Finland. Finland they have embassy in Nigeria. Finland in Kenguru Nguru Nguru Finland. Nguru Finland has embassy in Nigeria and now they have become one of the cacus.
one of the Takus country in Nigeria, Finland. How many? How population is Finland? And today they are benefiting through because they have Nigeria government and the British have given them money to keep one terrorist in their in their in their country, depending the time. Because everything has expiring date. When the time reach, the same people who keep him will kill him. Because their country need money. And when I told you that that is how country function, this is how country function. Country based on the interest. What are you going to give us? Period. Country, they are not there for you. You see, if you like, cry river, cry me river. Hey, I'm a Christian like you, or I'm a Muslim like you. The Muslim country, we ask those Christian country who are suppressing the Muslim there. How much do you want to give us? And in that Christian country, for example, in that Christian country, tell those Muslim country, okay. I give you two billion dollars per annum. The Muslim country will use calculator because they are going to invest their money. They are not foolish like you. They will not use calculator. Tam tam tam, two million dollars per annum. In four years, you will get. That's okay. Two million dollars per annum. In four years, we get eight billion. Okay, eight billion. Let us start a project. We will build metro. They have already met contractors. If we connect on the Grand Train from so 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 place to so 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 place, how much is the project? The contractor will say five billion dollars. And it's okay. Nigeria will give us. Nigeria will give us eight billion per in in one year. No, uh, in in four years. Okay. Good. They start their project. They begin to dig hole to connect road inside on the ground. To do what? To multiply their transportation system. It will generate that money. People will be going on the surface, people will be going on the ground. As soon as that happens, maybe they don't allow people to come into their country because of how their transportation, how they don't, they don't want inconveniences. Because now they have enlarged their transportation system into underground, they will now allow immigrants to come inside their country. Because if you come there, you will move around, you will pay transport, addition to economy. They will use that money they are collecting from those social contracts that is bribing them. They will use it to open company, open school, open many things, open uh, institution for technology, science, everything. They begin to produce something to export the many things with that money. And you now will be asking yourself a question. Why would the many people have asked me that question? That is why I'm explaining it now on media, how the world works on interest. Because many people will say, upon all these things this boy is doing, does it mean that the Finland government cannot arrest him? I said no. Because they are on contract. Nigeria signed contract to the Finland. I said, did you see when they moved to go and pick him? Something stopped that movement. Something stopped it. What stopped it is money. What stopped that movement, that action of Finland that time was money, money have, contract have been signed. They said, okay, don't worry. And they, they remove their hand. And they, let me tell you how white people they are intelligent. Every of his communication, they are tapping it. They are keeping it. They say, ah, this guy is a terrorist. So this guy is a is a brutal person. This guy is they are keeping it. They are piling it. That is how they will follow. They will be following him because they know that he's a government agent. They will be following him, keeping all the crime, all the record, everything is there. If that guy say if you cough on phone, oh, 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 they record it, it's there. 
Maybe if you think uh, they leave him, they don't leave him. No. You know, he's illiterate. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know. So I'm just telling him, open it now. If he cough on phone, <coughs> they are following, they, they record it, they keep, they keep. The same country that collect money now to keep him there. To be doing the job to destabilize the eastern region because that is what they tell him destabilize the eastern region but thank god for the powerfulness of ipob without ipob nobody will enter eastern region now because that is exactly what they call what they told him destabilize the region just scatter everywhere there and he agreed that is their job scatter everywhere there let them make them pass hell So they won't touch him until any time referendum now let me tell you where they will carry him any day nigeria come to the table for referendum referendum said a cast of referendum the way they will the way they will pick him they will attack the kind of chain they will use ban this guy you that you will see him go and mark you will see him walking on the chain at the check on check and the, the jail he will go is if his life in prison is not coming out again all his entire life it's not going coming out again so those that know him should tell him one day just enjoy your life I'll, i i see that he have he's enjoying his life he dance on, on media with a beer with a drink that is what he's supposed to be doing because he know that his end will not be funny he knows he knows that his end but those ones following him ignorantly in abroad is people that are pitying forget those ones in nigeria because nigeria does not have system to grab those ones but you see those ones in america in some that up some part of europe you are finished you go cry now now, no, not be me, like a man. I go there, I go there, Biafra, they watch all of you now. Or I go there, this country, they watch all of you because not everybody will go back to Biafra land. People may say, well, nah, We have gotten Biafra got, where I'm, I'm free walking around because I didn't commit any crime. You, some of you, ignorant, you have involved yourself with terrorists. That time you will be bowed, you are not alone. They will you will just see as as they grab pam pam. You will just see how they will just come and knock on your door. That day you will know that it, Italian intelligent unit know where you live. They will come there and knock and pick you. You say uh, what did I do? Uh, uh, agitator for Biafra. They say no, you are not agitator. We know agitators. We know this. You will be bow. Where they will come play. Uh, 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 Patrick, he came voice and tell you this one, this one's agitator. You, you were busy committing crime with the, the chief terrorist in the in Finland, and they will all of you they will join. And that is the, when they will go to court, they are going to host all of you in one the same court. They are going to jail all of you in one in one, in one prison, and that prison is going to be in the center of water, in the center of river. Ocean. Go and ask. That's where they put terrorists. Europe. I told one of our our brother there. I said, "Do you know what you are doing? Do you know what you are doing?" When I explain everything to him, not be somebody tell him make it wrong. He said, "I said so." You want to go you want to you want to destroy your life when time comes i said do you think <laughs> i want to destroy your life when time comes because time will come all of you all of you will be on the road the same people who is keeping him will finish him he knows he knows 
That's why he is busy spending the money they are giving to him, spending the money drinking, going, going to a different type of club. He, he know he, he is more sensible than all of you. You know, one day, one day, his life will end miserably. You know. Where will he run to? He can't run to Biafra land. But he says, Biafra citizen are only a real land. He can't run to. Oh, okay, except if you run to that place. He will run to. He have a place to run anyway. If those ones will not betray him. Because Fanani can betray their, their fellow Fanani talkless of. Uh, uh, since he's a Fanani, they may allow him. He have, maybe that is his target. If he can escape, oh, that is if he, if he be, if, if, if nature be favorable for him to escape. <laughs> because when he wants to escape, they will stop him. I don't see I don't see him escaping. That's why I'm telling you. I don't see him escaping. But if he escapes, he will run to he will run to north. He will go and be with his people. They will congratulate him for doing a good job for them during the agitation. But you, where do you want to go? You that your land is in Biafra, where do you want to come in Biafra land? That time you will know that average Biafra know you know you know the list all of the list. But I don't see him escaping, and I don't see all of you too escaping. All of you are not escaping it. I think he's more clever now. His mission. That's why he wrote. Some people join this struggle for vengeance, not for freedom. They don't come to freedom. When I told you that this guy come for something, do you see what he said? Anybody they kidnap and they, no wonder they are killing many people. They kidnap because the, when I told when I tell you tell you this thing two years ago, many people don't know. I said, look at the question they always ask their kidnap victim. They will ask them. Do you know Mazen and the Khan? He say yes. If he say yes, all of them that say yes with Mazen, I know Mazen and the Khan. None of them come back. They always end up killing them. They always end up killing those victims. As far as he say, you love Mazen and the Khan, they will kill you. I think he's he's out now. When I was telling, somebody printed it out where they do the meeting. This is order is given to his Nigeria recruited uh, arm group that is managing in Nigeria in in Biafra. Now. This is what they, they, they told them. Anybody you kidnap, he recognizes Martin and they can kill him. His enemy. Do you see why many people were killed? After they bear ransom in their hand, they will still kill them. Because that, that one will be thinking that they were with this man. Uh, we tell them, uh, I am fighting for Martin and the candidate. That one will be, you know, emotion. You will say, uh, Yes, I, lo I know him. I love him. Only Allah, Africa, over the capital At the end of the day, when he was in the enemy, one enemy has been de deleted. To him, Martin and the candidate is his greatest enemy. He has because of Funani. I, I think now the language is more clearer now. You people have understand it. My, you see people putting somebody goose on fire, shouting the uh, liberation army. We will keep on destroying Nigerian good, Nigerian property. Now ask me that trailer they set ablaze. That trailer and those cars they set ablaze, I think in the Imo State. That is somebody goose worth of millions of naira. Because it is owned by a Biafra, by a Igbo man. They set it on fire. Common sense is not common. No. Setting those goose and those vehicles on fire, what did it got to do with Biafra agitation?
Common sense is not common. Now, and you, you that say uh, all of, uh, is a Biafra agitation, is fighting for Biafra. Now, what connection does setting people's vehicle on the road on fire? This is not army vehicle. This is not police vehicle. This is this goods does not belong to governor. Neither does it belong to president of Nigeria. This vehicles belong to you, your brother, and my brother and my sisters. That is the vehicle belong to them. That goods belong to your brother, my sister, your uncle. And somebody put fire on it. He said, "What connection does that nothing have with with Biafra?" Have you seen one day, any day, ESN come out, or out of the road and beat somebody and slap somebody? Because he have no, he have no connection with coming outside. What is he coming out? What is exactly they are coming outside to do? With that, with that friendly henchman that is smothering our people, do you think we will have anything called ESN? We will not have anything called ESN because ESN was from only to sanitize our bush. To fish out the criminals in the bush. And their work end there. If you have any problem in the town, settle it with the vigilante, or settle it with the Nigeria police, or settle it with God, because you are still in Nigeria. Because what you are agitating for is no crime anywhere in the world. Forget about the foolish governors we have and the, some politicians who does not know their left from their right. What you are agitating for is their fundamental right. If that is not, you have no crime anywhere in the constitution to describe. So why are you agitating? If you have any problem, if it is in a, a sin society where people who are normal are governing, as agitator, when notice agitator, if you have any problem with somebody, you still have somebody you sue the person to court. If you have any problem with somebody, you report to the authority. Authority will come and intervene and arrest the person or intervene and ask what is the problem. It doesn't make you enemy of any state. Agitating for your freedom through the line recognized by international or globally, which is referendum, you have no crime to commit. You have no and the ESM formation to is a call self defense when the authority have failed to defend you. Let me tell you something. That is a law. When authority fail to defend you, you have the right to arm yourself. For self defense, it is it is law is lawful. This is what I'm telling people: it's lawful. Don't be fool. Because authority policing are there to defend you. Since they have fell from their mission, you have the right to arm yourself. against anybody who's coming to take your life. It is your right. Okay, now, I have, I have asked somebody Sunday, I said, who is he fighting in the, in, in, in the town? Who is he fighting to He say he is fighting Nigeria army and Nigeria police. I <laughs> laugh. The, the, the person responded me said the guy is fighting Nigeria army and Nigeria police. I said, in what ground? On what ground? On what reason? On what reason?
You know, there is something you will add. Educated people will sit down and watch you and say, This thing this person is doing has no meaning. That's where education is good. People who are well educated will sit down and say, What is it? What is he doing? Because many people, educated people, have asked this question, What is it? What is he doing? What is what is what are they doing? I don't understand. What is really going on? What are they doing? This way. Finally. If you are a pastor from the eastern region, if you are a politician, I think it is now you used to you need to use your platform and exercise the rights for the people. What is important now is we need lasting peace. And how can this lasting peace come and the lasting respect? You all of you will see respect come. All these Yoruba politicians insulting Igbo politicians in one way or another, insult will disappear. You will see them, they will see you, they will know that you are a neighboring former colleague. Respect will initiate. Because when you do the right thing, respect come. But when you keep on doing the wrong thing, out of selfish interest, you will be, be they will keep on insulting you, and the time will come you become nobody before their face. Do you know that today that Igbo politicians are nobody before Nigeria, before other races in Nigeria? Do you know why they have made them nobody? Because they look at them as the most foolish people who do, does not know their right. When you don't know your right before your fellow man. That man will ridicule you. But when you know you are right before you are following, that man will respect you. Respect you, you are the one to command respect. Respect does not fall from heaven. You command respect to yourself by choosing what to take and what to not take. It's not every hand that stretches to you that you will shake. There are hands that will stretch to you, you, you keep your hand down. The hand will come again, you keep your hand down. That fellow will go and sit down. If you see that, he will begin to reason for himself. He says, ah, why is this man rejecting my hand? Am I not qualified to, to shake him? He will begin to battle with his conscience. The first person got No, not every hand you shake, and not every food offered to you you eat, even when you are hungry. There is a place you will enter, there is a miserable place you will enter. You are very, very hungry. They offer you food, you reject the food. Despite being hungry, you reject the food. That makes you a man. That commands respect. You look at the food, you reject the food. There is a place you will enter, there is a table you will cross. Ah, oh God, oh, my brother, ah, my friend, come and sit down and drink with us. You look at them, you say, No, I don't I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol. I, have you stopped? Uh, yeah, I have stopped. To end the story short, uh, you know what? Uh, now nah, I stopped drinking alcohol. I do it many times because they are not qualified for me to sit with them and drink. I tell them I have stopped drinking alcohol. alcohol. If you see me another day where I'm in trouble drinking, ah, uh, I think you say you don't stop. Nah, I stop, but I, you know, sometimes I stop, sometimes I, I continue. Okay, babe. I'm talking to Igbo politicians. 
Nous avons un héros qui est un héros qui est That's why I wake up one one day. I think it's about it's about eight years ago or no, ten years ago. I wake up one day. I said to myself, no matter how big that pastor is, I will never bow down before any pastor. I, I said I I vow it, and I told my late mother. My mother is a bona fide Christian. I tell her, he said, why, why? I said, no, I will not do it. And I tell her the reason. He said, okay, now. I said, no matter how big he is, no matter how old he, I will never bow this head. I will, if you give me hand, I will not be the first to give him. I will greet the person. Good afternoon, sir. Good morning, sir. If you give me hand, I take. If he's an elderly person, if you give me hand, I, I take the hand. If he doesn't give me, I keep my hand. And I, I announce it that year so that let it not be disrespect. So that not come and say, this guy, this man does not have respect for uh, uh, the pastor or I said, no, this is within my own spirit. The spirit in me, the spirit of God in me, minister it to me. Don't you bow your head to any man in the name of pastor. If I see our Igwes, our traditional ruler, I will bend my, I will bend down and greet them. They will touch my back. Only for my traditional rulers. My bowing down like this only goes to my traditional rulers. Igbo, Igbo traditional ruler to not Hausa, not to Yoruba. If I see any of them, I stand up and greet them. Because this is my, my culture is my blood. And my blood and my culture is my life. And I must respect that. And that's it that year. And I maintain it till today. Now, most of them may be seeing it as disrespect. That one consigned you, doesn't consign me. And what makes me to bow down to my culture because that is my root, that's where I come from. That's where I spring up from. Ibo politician, learn how to respect yourselves. If your brains are lost, learn how to recover that bread. At least IPOB will help you recover your brain. That is why we are media sanitizing your brain to tell you how to become a man. When you become a man, people from far away nation will respect you. All of you are seeing it. All of you are seeing it. Ibo, 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 Ibo. Despite that Ibo distanced themselves from this 
All their target is Igbo, 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 Igbo. As we disappointed them by the directive of IPOB, I people say, don't go out there. You are the target. And our people know. If it is before, that is how our Hades and will deceive them. That is how the politician will deceive them. They will go kill them, they will go and collect money. They will kill them, they will go and collect money. But nothing, nothing like truth. Truth is the healing. Look at how our land is very quiet. Everybody is going their business, going their whereabouts because because of what they know the truth, and the people have told them the truth. And those people who told them the truth is 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 I pop, I pop. Don't go. They will kill you. They are they are just you know they are, they are blood always with them. They want to test your blood. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Out. Allow them to do their thing, and they are doing they are doing their thing now. Is backfiring them. Even when they are doing their thing, they are being labeled their own people evil. Because they need some that hatred is there. They want to say so they want to do something. That's why they look at their own people and call them evil. The lady was embarrassed. They are calling us evil. Is is not that that call is not it's not what it is not what to be consigned when somebody look uh, look their own sister and their own brother and call them evil and they know that there is no evil in their midst they call them evil because they want they want something that is something they want to dish out oh well they hand their moon and the only way to do that thing is when they see the when they have the evidence of evil now they don't find evidence now now they want to label their own people you don't know why they want to label if that lady did not say they don't want to label that people they know that that lady is their own sister but they want to do that so that they will start going to the shops they will start going to the houses of Ndibu and start killing them and start looting their goods and properties but that thing that lady said have spoiled their mind That is spoiled job. That is why Lagos State Governor come out, come and distance himself because they trap the state. The, the trap did not catch, it did not catch the meat they want. And the world have begun to see. Uh, so these people who have been agitating to go have a reason for agitation. Now they want to turn back to distance themselves. So oh, if you distance yourself now, one group of Fundi, well, any here go, they will not give them money. They will say, eh, as you can see, governor does not support them. <laughs> you will see that they will come out and say, since the governor of state did not support the mis they will not tag, they will not tag those people who initiated the miscrime. And they forgot that the governor was the person who initiated the 2023. 2023. They forgot that the governor will officially initiate that thing. Initiate that in 2023. It was governor of Lagos State Government was the people who initiated Ibophobia in Nigeria. Fashola, it began from Fashola. It began from Fashola. First of all, the state governor. <coughs> Sorry. Was the person who initiated Ibophobia? Baba Tunde Fashola was the person who initiated Ibophobia. And it had been established. Why am I reminding them now? So that I don't want tomorrow. These sellers call themselves. They will not go and collect money from the governor. They will say, the Governor does not support the people who say Igbo must go. And our Igbo people, they are very foolish. You will see them, instead of them, to prepare to go home. They will say, the Governor has. Governor, governor is not among them. The governor is a good man. Because some group of people go here, go. Then they will keep on endangering the life of innocent other Easterners just to maintain their longer truth. 
at my watch. Come, come, let me see somebody that will come out and defend Lagos State Government of not being, being the one behind the Ibophobia. I, I, I want to see it. Let them come out and say, all eyes is watch, watching them now. Let me see them. Either governors for form of the Eastern or such is governor. I want to see. Let them come out and tell us that. We are watching. Because definitely they will come out. If they give them money now, they come out and, and talk nonsense. We are watching them. Let them come out and say something. Catching like a poor hunk. We are watching them very closely. Indeed, what are you going to do allow? What are you going to do allow? When I was warning all of you, you say Lagos is no man's land. When you all of you were claiming one Nigeria, I said Lagos is no man's land. They say, eh. <coughs> Lagos is somebody's land. They say it's land of some origins. Some origins on that land. Don't say, eh? Don't say that statement. Yes, you buy, you bought land from them, give you right. Yes, of course. You say your property sell them. You don't recover what you said back again. You don't recover by law. You don't recover what you said back again. If you insist, you can only ask for reselling. The person will sell it back to you and double the money. Revalu uh, revaluation of property. <clears throat> if you buy it at 10 million naira, the person will say, okay, give me 100 million. You give. You buy. You buy it back. If the person says he's not selling, he can't do anything. He may tell you, I'm, I'm frustrated. Even, even 1 billion, I'm not selling. He's not. Uh, he live, you, you have sold. You have sold. But that does not give you the right to say that no, it's no man's land. It's somebody's it's ancestral land. But they sold it. Let us tell ourselves the truth. It's some people's ancestral land was sold to you. Don't say nobody land. It's provoking. When you come now to have your state, it's have your state is nobody's land. When you ask, I will tell you, yes, those people that, that remove your eye, they are the owner of that place. Since it's there, that's no, it's no more, it's no man's land. That is deceive. When I say that, the worst thing any man can do is deceiving himself. Going on self deception, it leads into destruction completely. Self deception will destroy you. When you, the, that's what worst thing any human being on earth can do to you. you when you deceive, you can deceive another person and get something from that person. Fine. But the, the moment you keep on deceiving yourself, Ella, Ilio, Ilio, Monolando. Great dear friends and lovers of freedom. May you keep on <coughs> keeping us and give us strength and wisdom. This very journey of this freedom is achievable. God, Chiko Kikabia, my heaven, is doing something. He's doing something to show that IPOB is in the right direction. When you are fighting a good fight, the host of heaven will also will be doing the same fight with you. All this thing that you see in Nigeria now, Nigeria is the host of heaven supporting their hand on IPOB. When I told them, when I told people that blessed are those that are in IPOB, for they shall enjoy the goodness and mercy of God. Yes, that's what I said.
Il m'a même pour le poids. Il m'a même pour le poids. 2018, nous avons dit que le n'est pas to be found. That time, he ran to Israel. He haven't come out. People said, some people said, don't kill him. This one said, don't kill him. Before he appear, before he come out. That when I said that word, I said, blessed are those in IDU before them to enjoy the goodness and the grace and the mercy of God. Because they have come to do the will of God on earth. They have come to do the will of God on earth. When you are doing the will of that's why I say, don't commit crime in this agitation. I've warned people, I say, don't commit crime in this agitation. If somebody call you, want to offer you money, maybe want to give you money, appreciate you, ask that person question very well. Me, I don't collect because I don't collect because of not that I am for those who have done that, I reject because. I am sorry, not that I is an insult. It's not an insult. I reject because that is my own spirit. I am not saying people should not collect, but ask question one name. If you have, if you, if you have to say collect, but ask question. And as you are asking that question, make sure you record it to me. I don't collect. If you tell, I say thank you, sir. Thank you, man. I am okay. Even when I don't have, I think I don't, I, I'm okay. Because that is the instruction my spirit gives to me. In this thing, anybody who wants to appreciate you, don't take. Don't collect. Don't touch anything on three Biafra come. And I obey that spirit today. For those of you who want to collect, if anybody, I want to appreciate, appreciating somebody is a good, is a welcome idea. That shows the person have good heart to appreciate what is good. Put it on record. Makaichi, because of tomorrow. Collect it, tell the person thank you. And ask that person a question. Madam, uh, uh, Oga, uncle, I hope all is well. If you will appreciate me. Uh, I hope tomorrow you will not use it against me. <laughs> All other <department> man, <laughs> well, I say, uh, um, my late father said, uh, you know, uh, and that's why I say, uh, I don't want to collect. Don't go there. I have a condition. I ask you. You didn't tell me it's bribe. I ask you. You say it's a position. Or you first of all listening to yourself. You play it. Don't go on media. Play it. You play on here. Yes. Or media. Because you have nothing to fight again. You say, wait, I'm not going on media. Wait, let me play your voice so that you will listen by yourself. A quarter on me. I can't buy a. I can't buy a. I can't buy a. I can don't don't fall victim. Don't let anybody blackmail you. Be smart. Thank you, and God bless all of you.